Go. Hello, welcome to Bear Beer Reviews from Montpellier, or however they pronounce it, in Vermont. This is our wonderful hotel room. This is the Feast of Kings, sushi and granola eaten with chopsticks. And this is the Drink of Kings. What well, a better place to have a kind of heady topper than in your hotel room without any proper glassware or anything. Oh, I can't even get them out. I said that. There we go. Now, it does say around the side of the can, drink from the can. Uh, this was delivered today um, to the Hunger Mountain Co op, so this is the freshest that you will probably be able to find this drink. Uh, it's world renowned for being one of the best double IPAs ever made. Uh, it's 8%. This is one pint of it. Um, it's got a nice spiel on the back about how you're meant to drink this and it's meant to be super drinkable. It's meant to be the most aromatic. It's meant to be the freshest. It's meant to be everything. It's meant to be absolutely fantastic. So, that's the strangest sound you usually have when you're having a real ale. It usually comes from a bottle, but it's from a can says drink from the can, so we'll try for the first time from the can. Obviously can't do anything about the colour because you can't be able to see it. Aroma perhaps, we'll go for a try and aroma. Oh, wow. You know what? It smells exactly like... It, it, <laughs> it smells so dense. It smells exactly like a hop cone. Like it smells just exactly like if I had some hot pellets from work or if I had a whole cone um, hop from work, I had it and I just crushed it in my hands and I smelt it. It's the closest thing to literally a hop I have ever smelt. And then alongside that you have the, the, the aromas with it. I'd say this is particularly, and I agree with what most people say, they use a cone and yeast in this, a special type of yeast from Vermont, and it's uh, peachy. It's unbelievably peachy, apricotty, sweet, satsuma, something like that. It's very sweet, very floral and citrusy together. So hey ho, here we go, Heady Topper, first try of uh, one of the best double IPAs in the world, so they say. Cheers. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's amazing, it is. Um, I mean, I've had so many good double IPAs, we were just at a bar where we had Lawson's Fine Liquids Double Sunshine IPA, and um, this is this blows that one out of the water. To be frank, it, it, the mouthfeel on it is crazy. Again, the Conan yeast has meant to have a creamy mouthfeel. It certainly does. It has this. It has a, a nice medium mouthfeel, but it, it almost lingers on the tongue, and the the carbonation just kind of fizzles, and it just it coats the tongue for longer than not longer than usual. So you get the flavours just for a couple of seconds more than you're expecting it. In terms of flavours, it tastes exactly like a hot kernel. It just does. It's it is just distilled. The flavour is just distilled. There is no loss of flavour from hops. They managed to extract everything they could do from what they're using in this to give you the flavour. It it tastes of peaches, of citrus, of grapefruit. There's pine in there. There is a nice bitterness, but it's not overwhelming. There is nice sweetness to it, but again, it's not too sweet. It drinks stupendously easily for an 8%, so you could drink it as if it's water, as if it's a glass of fruit juice. Um, it's absolutely blooming gorgeous, it really is. Now I have to pour this into a glass, it does say if you must pour into a glass, you may find that some of the hot resins have settled to the bottom, um, so leave them in the can while pouring. So we'll pour it out and give it a try. I know it's un unpasteurised and unfilled, so it isn't going to be clear at all, but I'm not surprised. So there you go, that's what it looks like um, in a glass at least. It is unfiltered, so it is it is pretty cloudy to be honest, but it's a lovely peachy colour to be honest, and it's got a lovely head on it as well, Just for, even from pouring in a small glass. Um, it does stick quite nice to the sides as well, there is a lot of carbonation in it because it's bulk, oh, can conditioned I guess I should say. Um, looks lovely too, in terms of rule from a glass. Much of the same, I can see what they say, you can drink it straight from the can. You can smell, even when you're drinking from a can, you can smell exactly what it, what it should do. And in terms of flavour, it is absolutely amazing. It really is. There's just no loss of flavour from hops. It's the closest thing to whenever I've ever used hop products in my life. It's the closest thing that I've ever ever found. And isn't that the whole experience of a double IPA? The hoppiest thing you could ever imagine. And it still, re it still retains drinkability. Yep, it's definitely one of the best double IPAs in the world. Um, again, another nine and a half. Uh, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. I never give ten out of tens because you know you never know when you're going to find a best beer. And uh, also gets good marks as well for having awesome artwork on the on the on the can, which I'm sure most of you've seen. 
So there you go, please like, favourite, comment and subscribe. I will probably do another re-review this when I'm home and use some proper glassware and see if it does anything or just video myself drinking it because it is pretty damn awesome. Um, so there you go from Montpellier, from our wonderful hotel room, from the Feast of Kings. Cheers. So, uh, where are you going? I'm going to a boring brick No, I was asking the bear, Mum. Oh. He's not talking to us. He's a bit strange, really. The eyes of a killer. You can tell you're getting near Hill Farmstead when you start seeing weird Amish guys on tractors. Say hi, Mama. Welcome to Hill Farmstead Brewery. And this is Wednesday, just past 12 o'clock. It is minus 10 degrees outside and it's busy. We've got huge barrels over in the corner. I don't know the same amount of folks on it, but huge barrels, bottles, everything. Okay, I'm going to try it out. The seed is the Montemort Gaia Pale Ale. I think it is the seed is 500% on this one. 500%. It's a lovely straw colour going on. Uh, nice little head. Good place on as well. Get a nose on it. Okay, we tried um, Spice of Life by 6.8. Gas and Tamarind and Boston, it would be a profile is very similar to it. It's the spicy tropical fruit that's what we used to. We're doing a rumor. Uh, it does smell like a lot of the spicy tropical fruit that we used to. Uh, it smells particularly quite sweet as well, I think. It smells particularly sweet as well. And it's a little bit heavy, a nice bit heavy as well. Very good for the taste of the cheese. It's deliciously light. A nice bit of carbonation is going across the bottom. It's a ton of tropical fruits. Really kind of pineapple actually. A little bit just like a spice and bitterness on the back of its mouth. Um, lots of carbonation in it. It's lovely that one. We've got another little bit of water in the back of the line. We'll probably sit here for about two or three minutes and we'll do it. We'll do all the way to the end of it. Cheers. Alright, that's a good So this is the Double Galaxy Sea Pop Tag PA. Yeah, 8.3%. Uh, again, it's a lovely strong colour. Uh, Cloudy because they only filter and find them. Uh, lovely hammer again. Should I say two? Get a nose on the one. Uh, they really have got a good hand on how to drive off things. This is it's beautifully hot. Um, it really does smell like a It smells unbelievably damp and tropical. Uh, Galaxy is one of those apparently. In Australia, say so super, super hot. Um, it smells good. Uh, it's got a particularly dense, really dense smell of water with a little sweet and So, cheers and more goods for me. That's what I'm Rich and sweet, super dense, with lots of truffles. Everything you can smell, you can taste a little There's a nice little sweet kind of caramel with a black one just all together. Nice divine business, good mouthfeel, good combination. Absolutely could not fall to me. Think about this beer either. Um, two fantastic beers so far. We'll be on the video we get our next two. So this is uh, Abner, 8.7% Big Life PA. Uh, I'm not sure what it is this one, but again, this one's slightly deep. It's all like a dark brown colour. Lovely lips on top of the head again. Um, good crisp aromas. This one's definitely got a lot more, a lot more kind of resin in it. It's got a lot more savoury as well. Uh, I'd say it's not just tropical notes in it, but it's more citrusy than in the other two that we've had with each other tropical so far. So cheers, get a few tanks. And it's definitely much more resiny, piney flavour. It's got like an almost savoury note. And of course, like a palate, almost like a curry or something like that. Um, tons of caramel in it as well. Good bit in there. Um, that feels still as good as nice and creamy and smooth. Lovely. Cheers. Welcome back. This is the final beer we bought. This is Earl Grey. We've got your snail. That's 6.7%. Um, it's got a nice tangle head on it. Again, a little lacing on it too. Um, that's great. So it's still a little bit Definitely smell coffee, rich, chocolatey, lovely coffee. Uh, smells super sweet too. Yeah. <laughs> It's got such a wonderful aroma, yeah. pretty heavy. It's like coffee breaks. So cheers, everyone. It's super, super, it's really velvety and silky. It's really thin, kind of rich, wasn't it? Nice and thick mouthful. Typical, really well. A lot of coffee in it as well. 
Well, a bit of chocolate sweetness, it tastes roast too, but it's got this. No, it always tastes like a bean coffee bean. It's kind of bitter and The only business you can get around a good chocolate cream bean has that too. Um, again, it's an absolutely lovely beer. All, all, all four beers we've had have been lovely. In particular, I really, really like that beer. It seems to be an imperial pale ale with a little bit of something extra. The uh, two single hot beers were well, distinctly not to work in guys in flavour, but very good examples of single hot beers. Um, probably give them both a good night out of ten. They were very good. Um, that beer pushes the limits. It's got an extra savoury flavour to it. That's nine and a half easy. And um, it's coffee almost now. And it hands, you know, it goes up there with the rest of them. We had Speedway Stout, which is an amazing beer. Um, this one is the same with Speedway Stout. Fantastic mouthfeel is the best thing about this beer. You know, the flavour's brilliant as well, but such a slick, lovely mouthfeel from the oatmeal. Really, really is lovely. And we're, we're still a couple of people away from getting to finally get some beers, but we can't wait. <laughs> so here we are from Hill Farmstead. Hope you enjoyed our little, very short reviews, but it's quite manic here. Until the next beer review, cheers.